Good morning, Vans Privateer FX. Coming at you on ECB Thursday, 16 July here. Kind of a lively overnight as far as Twitter is concerned, right? All these crazy Twitter hacks and Twitter went down. Um, kind of funny in general, like anyone who tells you they'll give you $2,000 for $1,000 or whatever the hack was. If you fell for that, you know, you need to need to put yourself in the corner, give yourself a little bit of a timeout, because um, that's idiotic. Uh, but anyway, funny, Kane Wesk, Michael Bloomberg, Biden and Bezos, Twitter hacks. Amusing. Anyway, uh, to the real business at hand here, the charts uh, and FX and the financial world. Not a whole lot to report here. We got ECB coming up. Euro kind of has a turn bar on the, in the making here. Is too much upside baked in in the Euro? Everybody's long? Maybe. We're square at the moment. Um, but this bar is a bit spooky if you're long, right? Uh, certainly, price is below 91. Um, not that great uh, if you're long. But we got ECB today. I don't know what she's going to say. Uh, I don't know what more she can do. I don't even know how to judge this stuff, right? I mean... Bank of Canada was massively bearish yesterday, massively dovish yesterday, and CAD went through the roof. Um, so it's just tricky. So you just got to rely on price. The normal toolbox for ECB, how much QE are they going to do, what are they going to do with rates, doesn't really apply to the value of the currency anymore. Um, and to be fair, I'm not even sure what applies. Uh, so you just have to trade price. Almost trade sort of as an outer body experience. Take your brain, put it in the coffee cup, um, and trade price. So we'll see. Certainly there'll be good risk above 50 now. Um, 114.93 is the year's high, so we just have to mention that. Uh, through 115 would be quite bullish. Let's see. ECB later today. Dollar yen did a little sneaky turn yesterday. Again, printed down into the 60s. 106, triple six for you Satan worshippers out there. Um, interesting now. Are we going to get a little platform to uh, sell dollar yen before 106 the figure? Maybe. Um, could you say now? Price is below 106.50, and the inevitable <clears throat> nuclear stop run that's going to happen at 106. The figure will attract. Could be. Going to watch that space very closely. Euro yen got smoked. All those longs from 122 are now no longer long. Down to 81. Stops done through the figure yesterday. Uh, not much to do here. We got ECB later, so you want to be nimble. You want to be flexible um, and ready for action this afternoon. Aussie yen. Some young smart guys yesterday that I know sold out of yen up up near ten. Um, looks pretty good. Nice failure in Aussie up there, seventy thirty five. Like what was Aussie doing at seventy thirty five anyway? We'll get to that. Um, but Aussie yen looks okay now. Take a look at the four hourlies. Down through eighty is kind of important. This is surely Aussie unemployment last night, which I didn't even look at, but classic little whoopsie daisy there. Um, but really
absolutely nothing to see. Um, Aussie Yen. Looks like she wants lower. And this is, of course, a reflection of risk off. So, you know, it's been a crazy week. Is this sort of a harbinger of risk off? Might be. Uh, we do like Aussie Yen lower. Kiwi Yen, same thing. We've been talking about this for for weeks now. It hasn't really actually done anything. 70-12. Um, we opened it sort of 70-20 down to 69-80. Up to 70-40. Um, but Kiwi Yen following, but all bit at a slower pace. Kiwi Dollar. We're still leaning on this daily bar, right? This bearish engulfer. Um, this bad boy here, 13th of July. Bang, new high, bearish engulfed. It's basically the NASDAQ with last fall. Um, way, way, way less fall. Squeeze everybody back up. We don't make a new high. Uh, here we are, creeping, creeping, creeping lower. Um, we'll have to see how this resolves itself. My guess is this resolves itself lower. And we'll be selling this through 65, the figure. You can, you can kind of guarantee that. Dollar CAD, like don't get it don't know what's happening here but one two three four sort of five lows here so kind of important technically even though it makes absolutely no sense um 130 45 130 90 and a half 130 uh Yesterday, okay, 135.05, but a big throbbing red bar. My God. Um, she sure looks like she wants to go lower. Weird. Um, let's look at EuroCAD. Since we talk about this a lot, but we don't really do much with it. But bearish engulfing yesterday. Bang. Right at the range highs. 155.50. Bing! Bearish engulfed. If you're short EuroCAD, I don't know anyone who has any positions in EuroCAD, but if you're short EuroCAD, you're looking pretty, you're looking pretty good today. Um, this looks like it's heading back down. Why does EuroCAD bearish engulf? But it bearish engulfs on a BOC day, not Blue Oyster Cult, Bank of Canada. So, important. Don't pretend I know what's going on here because I definitely do not. But interesting price action, Dollar CAD and Euro CAD. Equities, a lot of nothing, right? Printed the exact highs up here. You know there'll be risk above uh, 32, 32. I think 33 and a quarter. Yeah, 32, 33 and a quarter was the high. Uh, there's gaps to fill. Down here at 05, it looks offered. Up at 25, it looks bid. Don't pretend to know what's going on here. Uh, we do know we have a double top now. 32, 32. Gold stays bid. Annoying. Um, Bitcoin, because there was a scam attached to it, let's just look at it. Not much happening here. Looks like we may head lower um, just to take out some weak longs. But um, just waiting to try and scoop some, gently scoop some uh, 7,500 if we get down there. That's all I got for you today. Not too much to do. Um, we do like short Aussie yen, short Aussie, and short Kiwi. Oh, let's look at the Aussie dollar chart. Just because we printed a 
ridiculous high. 70, 37 and a half. All eyes are on 69, 22. Seems far away, but all eyes are on 69, 22. Um, we like short Aussie. We like short Kiwi. And now we're waiting, uh, waiting for Lagarde and uh, to see what happens in the Euro world. So it should be a quiet morning today, and we will see what happens this afternoon with Euro dollar one thirteen fifty, the range high. Let's see if we can cruise through that on some sort of I don't know ECB nonsense. Anyway. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.